solving linear systems by substitution. So here when we're asked to solve uh, a linear system, we know in a linear system um, we have pretty much an x value and we're going to have a y value. Okay, so what we have is pretty much we're going to have a straight line. So one of the formats in which it might be written out is in the form of y is equal to mx plus b, right? But not always. Again, we might have it in uh, some kind of standard form um, where we might have 2x plus, let's say, a 3y minus 7 equals 0, right? But the key components, right, key variables that we'll have are some kind of an x and y. So Anytime we're asked to solve, we're really being asked to find what does, what or what do the variables, what do the letters, right, in such an equation represent? Okay, so that's let's look at uh, our first sample problem here. So question says solve and check. So keyword really, let's ignore the check part. Let's keyword as we said solve and if we look at what we've got two things to look for when we're solving variables right your letters the next thing to look for I'm gonna highlight this one equal signs always always you're gonna find equal signs because what's gonna happen is we are trying to solve and in order to solve we need equal signs and if we want to solve for such um, algebraic e expressions, we also want variables, right? So variables are uh, well, supposed to be our friend. And I know some of you probably think I hate variables. Now, when we solve and if we're solving by substitution, right, we want to substitute into something. So what we're going to look at in this in linear system here, we are going to look for a variable that is by itself and the variable that is by itself here is x so whatever variable is by itself which means there's all there's no number in front of it but we know that it, no number in front of a variable means one so what it means is we want to isolate okay we want to isolate for this unknown so what does it mean it means that i want to keep x or my unknown uh, that uh, the, the single letter to be on one side of the equal sign and everything else over on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite equation number one, and this is equation number one, to look as such. X is equal to, right? We've got six, right? So we've got X on this side of the equal. We've got six on this side of the equal. Nothing changes. But the minute I put, I look at this plus 4y, I want to move it to the other side. So to move something from one side to the other in math, right, we are always doing the reverse sign. So it's positive. Let me uh, delete some of this here because there's way too much for us to see here. Okay. So let's get rid of that. Okay. So we uh, want to isolate for x. So we want to move this plus 4y over to this side of the equal sign. So positive 4y on this side becomes negative 4y on this side. Okay, so right now this is my new equation number one. And all, this, all we did was rearrange the equation. We haven't really done anything to it. So what we're going to do with this is we've got the isolated variable. So right now, this x, you know what this x really equals? This x now equals this, 6 minus 4y. So in other words, another way for me to rewrite this within this equation is to substitute into this x value. So what we're going to do is I'm going to rewrite this equation, 2x minus 3y equals 1. So what I, I have, I have equation 2 and equation 1, or sorry, this is our new equation 1. So I want to substitute. Now, my word of advice, and I tell my students this, whenever we're substituting, all, before you substitute, put brackets around just the letter. So in other words, I know that this x is no longer just going to be x. x is going to be equal by 
whatever equation one is going to be. Because really, when we're solving linear systems, if we have two of the same letter, it means whatever this x value is going to be is going to equal this x value. Right? That's really what it means. Right? We never use, right? Notice here, why are we using here x and we use y? Because whatever numbers are both of these are going to represent two completely different numbers. Okay? So, in other words, instead of writing my x, I am going to write this 6 minus 4y. So, I'm going to keep the green going, 2, and my brackets, instead of x, I am going to put, and let me change this color here, uh, 6 minus 4y. And let's get back to the green again. And I'm just going to rewrite our equation. So notice this is equation number two. And notice inside equation number two, I have my equation number one. So as we said, another way of writing this x, right, if we're substituting, and this is what we call substitution, we are doing the following. So what we're going to do now is we are going to simplify this, or, or should we say expand this. And what that means is we are going to use the distributive law. And what that means is, for those who, you know, just to kind of recap, we are going to multiply this number outside of the brackets with both or every term that are um, within the brackets, right? So 2 times 6 is going to give me, let's put it down at a different, uh, actually, let's keep the green color going. So 12, 2 times 4y, but it's not just 4y, it's negative 4y, so it's going to give me a negative 8y, and we no longer need the brackets, so we are left with negative 3y equals 1, okay? So, what we want to do here is, whenever we're solving, we always want to isolate letters from numbers, right? So what we have here are variables from numbers. So here is a variable, negative 8y. We have negative 3y. We want to keep these on this side of the equal sign. So we've got negative 8y minus or negative 3y, right? And treating it as negative 3y or minus 3y is exactly the same. And here, this one, we're not moving this. So, but the only thing that we are going to move is this 12. We're going to move this 12 to the other side because look at it we want to keep y's on one side right we're going to keep y's here to the left of um this equal sign we're going to keep whole numbers or constants to the right of this equal sign so let me just lower the screen a bit so we have some room okay so we're going to move this 12 and notice the sign that is in front of 12 there's no sign there so that means it's positive when we move it to this side it becomes negative 12. Okay, so now what we want to do is simplify our left side and our right side. So negative 8y minus 3y is going to give me negative 11y equals 1 minus 12 is going to give me negative 11. So really, when we're solving, we want to isolate for y now. All right, so this, that's what we're trying to solve. We're trying to solve for y. So how do you get rid of this number in front of y? We'll divide this by that number, right? So whenever we want to isolate, we want to get rid of the number that's in front of this variable, divide it, right, when it's all by itself like this, divide it by whatever that number is. And that number in front of y is negative 11. But again, in math, what you do on one side, you must do to the other side. And you're going to divide both sides by uh, negative 11. So negative 11, right? Negative 11, negative 11 will divide out and all we're left with is y. But negative 11 divided by negative 11, remember it's not zero common mistakes. Students think it's zero, but it's not. Uh, anytime you divide two numbers that are exactly the same, um, the number is equal to one. So in other words, our y, which is left over here, y is equal to one. So in other words, this expression here, if we're going to go back up, this expression here, the value of both of these y's is equal to one. Now that we found this value here, now that we found what y is equal to, we're going to substitute this into 
any one of these equations. It doesn't really matter. My advice to you is look for whichever equation is the easiest to follow, right? So what I'm going to do is, so here's our equation one. As we said, we rewrote it. Here's our equation number two. And uh, we wrote, rewrote it. So now let me just get rid of some of this stuff here. Uh, and so we know our value, um, we've got y is equal to 1, right? So I'm going to put it into this first equation here, equation number 1. So we've got x equals 6 minus 4y. And we're going to substitute into y. So as we said, we always put brackets around the variable only. So if there's a number in front of it, do not put brackets in front of that. Only in front of the, uh, the or around the letters. So what we have is x is equal to 6 minus 4 brackets. And inside those brackets, we're going to put the number 1. Let's go back, close the brackets, try to use the colors, right? So it's easier for us to follow. Now solve for x. So we have just x by itself here. We've got 6 minus 4. And x is equal to, when we solve 6 minus 4, x is equal to Two. So in other words, we've got x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1. But anytime we're looking at a linear system, what that means is these two lines, if we were to graph them, are going to intersect one another at this point, at 2, 1. Okay? So it's going to intercept itself at 2 and 1. Right. We can do that using graphing, but if you're asked to find it using substitution, you're going to have to do it in this method. Now, second part of this question says check. What does the, the check mean? So let me um, get rid of some of this here. So we've got 2 and 1. Okay. So what we're going to do here, let's uh, erase some of this. So what we're going to do is we are going to substitute 2 and 1 into... So either 2 in this x or 2 in that x. 1 in this y or 1 in that y. It doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bottom one here just for argument's sake. And what we're going to be left with is, um, well, actually, you know what? Let me do this top one here. So we're going to substitute into x plus 4y equals 6. So... As we said, whenever we're substituting, put brackets around just the letters. So in other words, instead of x, right, we are going to put 2, right, because our x value here is 2, right? Then we've got plus 4, right? And what is our y value? Well, our y value is 1, is equal to Six. So all we did was we substituted what our solution was. And this is really just the check part, right? So your teacher might ask you to check and wants to see you actually doing the check. So what we have here is 2, this 2 doesn't change, plus 4 times 1, which is just 4, equals 6. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. 6 is equal to 6. What this means is that the left side equals the right side. So what that means is, yes, in fact, this 2 and 1 is, in fact, the point of intersection for the following um, lines.